Hi guys, on today's video, we are going to talk about code formatting consistency. And as we at work, we're facing some of the problem like um, uh, people are using different uh, code editor or even some people are using the same code editor. They might have different configuration on their uh, workspace. And uh, that can lead to a problem with code formatting when you push that to the GitHub, you might gonna face a lot of conflicts. And uh, let's dive in to have a look. I, uh, I'm having VS Code Editor here, and I just create a project called Code Standards, which is created by React Create React App. Let me just show you some examples. On this plain object. Let's say some in we have like a couple people in our team. Everyone having a different way to write a code. Some people they might want to have a couple indents before function or they have a couple lines before return. Uh, so the people everyone having a different way to write a code, but if we work as a team we need to write the same code, we need to make it like consistency. How can we do that? And uh, what we do in our uh, team is we use uh, we use the dependency called Prettier. Let me just show you an example. Let me... So... Um, to have Prettier to work with your code you need to install prettier dependency that's on this line of on this line of on this script is save that to development dependency and uh, to have a uh, mm, fixed fixed version let's check that so that's prettier and uh, the version is 2.8.8 .8, which is going to be this version if someone going to use that in the future so we have prettier installed and the next step what we need to do is uh, we need to have a um, configuration uh, file for prettier so what we can do is we can we can create a file called prettier rc.json. Let's, let's see on the left hand side there's a file called prettier rc.json which is um, empty here. You can have your custom config here, but for this demo I just leave that to default. And then for prettier you can also have um, uh, we can also have a, a file called um, prettier ignore so basically prettier ignore is just it's just saying like don't format this uh, don't format the file don't format the folder the files in these folders and next we have uh, for we have prettier dependency installed and then we have settings ready and then we need to uh, have prettier extension to uh, to cooperate with editor so you know, I have prettier uh, editor we have prettier extension installed here so let's say so it should be working let's try that we got right click on the format document as you can see, the code has been formatted. Let me try that again. A lost lines. Right click on the format document. As you can see, the file is all formatted. And uh, actually, there's a, instead of right click, click format document, we have a shortcut. We can go setting and uh, we say format. We can check this format on save. So we can we can use the keyboard called command S. 
when we hit the command S, it's gonna save, it's gonna format the file and the format the code and the save file, which is more convenient. And if if all members in the team they format the code before they before they commit or push to GitHub, that should be all right. That should be fine. But what if they don't? What if some of member they forgot to format the code and push that to GitHub? That's gonna cause the problem too. So, uh, so we need to make sure um, the code has been formatted before they push to to Git. So let me just show you. Let me just uncheck on um, this, and uh, we need to by doing to have automatically format before we get commit we need to use two dependencies uh it's called husky and the lean stage okay once we get that installed uh we need to initialize we need to initial husky so actually before initial husky we need to initial git Let's say git init. You will get git ready, and uh, we use command called husky install to initialize to initial husky. And uh, as you can see, there's a, a folder created called husky. Then the next step, we need to use this command. We actually. We actually want to add the command called prepared, which is going to run Husky installed. As you can see on on the script here, there's an extra command called prepare. We add Husky install. So basically, what what that is is like when when you run the code npm installed, it's going to run Husky installed before you, before execute npm install so that makes sure husky husky is initialized before we before we actually start the project okay once we get that uh once we get that set up and uh we need to add a hook to husky so the hook called pre-commit then pre-commit is going to run this uh this uh script called uh link stage Okay, we add a hook called pre-commit. Let's check that on the uh, left-hand side. We've got pre-commit hook, and it's going to run link stage. Com uh, we're going to uh, link stage command. Uh, so uh, basically, on the package JSON, we don't have link stage command. We need to write a link stage command. Okay, we add the link stage command, so so on on link stage command that's gonna call prettier to format documents to format our codes so we have got all set it we get a before we get committed they're gonna run pretty prettier to format our code let's try that let's say git add add all file and uh, let's say git commit show so oh actually no uh, actually we need to make a mess on the code let's say let's say git add okay and now we're gonna run a git commit so before git before all document get committed it's gonna format the code first before it get committed let's try that right as you can see the code has been formatted under the get committed okay so that's gonna be that's gonna be code uh Get all files and uh, get uh, formatted before they get committed. 
so it shouldn't be any problem it shouldn't be any problems to work as in the team with the code formatting and uh, another thing that I want to mention is uh, conflicts between ESLink and the Prettier and as uh, as as our uh, project is generated by uh, Create React app that be, uh, and the Create React app that come with ESLink, let's say this is ESLink config here. Sometimes ESLink rule uh, is different to Prettier rule, so they might have conflicts. So to solve this uh, problem, what we can do is we can install a dependency called uh, ESLink config prettier. Once we get that installed and uh, we add prettier to ESLink config extension extends. So what if they have conflicts in between? So uh, prettier, a prettier rule gonna override ESLink rule. Yeah, so that that's that can solve the problem with the conflicts between uh, formatters. On today's video, we have covered Prettier and the Prettier dependency and the Prettier extension with our VS Code. How can they cooperate together? And uh, we also cover a dependency called Husky and the link stage. How can that cooperate uh, together with the like before we commit the code how can that format how can that help us to format the code i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the subscribe button i'll see you guys on next video bye now